the Revolution 7 is a budget model from Nike listed on their website for 70 US dollars. But most people can get this cheaper. I, for one, I got this here in Saudi Arabia at 207 Saudi Real, and that's approximately 55 US dollars. On their website, Nike described this shoe thus. We loaded the Revolution 7 with the sort of soft cushioning and support that might change your running wall. Now, if you want to buy these shoes because you are sold on this description from the Nike website, then you will be sorely disappointed. That's why these reviews are important, you know. Those who have tested these shoes can tell you the details of this shoe and let you know exactly how they feel. By the end of this video, we will be able to determine whether this is worth buying for serious runners. Hi guys, still your man, Dr. CY, the running dog, and once again, I thank you for tuning in. Let's get on with these shoes. Now, if you look at it, we see that this consists of a mesh upper. Pretty nice and soft. And if you put your hand inside, this feels very smooth and nice and minimally stretchy. You notice a little reinforcement on the toe box here. Nike branding on the sides and also on the tongue. If you look in this area, you notice decent padding on the collar and the heel counter. And of course, this is complemented by thick and nicely padded tongue, giving overall nice ankle support and comfort. This tongue is also fully gusseted, so the lockdown is pretty cool. It does not have any hole for the runner's knot, but it is not necessary. It has lots of holes, so these shoes are very breathable. So overall, the comfort from this upper for its price is very nice. These fit through to size. In this new version, they widen the toe box so your toes has ample freedom of movement without much extra space. They also increase the length just a tiny bit here so that if you get your normal size in these, your toes will no longer be hitting the tip of the shoes. If you try the Revolution 6, you will notice that that one will fit quite snug. This shoe is slightly heavier than the previous version. These weigh 300 grams in my size US 11. It's not a heavy shoe. It's also not a very light shoe. It's just right there in the middle. The soft insole gives a nice uh, comfortable foot bed. The EVA midsole in this is quite firm and the thickness is not that much. The thickness is not as much as you can see here from the outside because actually this midsole rides up on both sides to cradle the heel for a nice heel support and stability. The actual height of the midsole is at about this level. It's firm and there's also not much thickness to it, so these shoes do give a firm ride. The pop you get from this is also diminuted. If you like minimalist shoes, you know, shoes that give you a very nice ground feel, firm ride, those are the ones that are going to enjoy running in these shoes. But if you like softness, then you might have to stay away from this. Now, Nike is beginning to use this outsole pattern more and more these days. The one good thing about it is that it enhances the grip and it can also do well on light trails. The thickness of the rubber is also pretty decent. It's almost covered fully with rubber with just a small cutout here in the middle. Running in these shoes, how did they feel? It won't give you that much, it doesn't also take away from your energy. But the firmness in the ride of these shoes is what I did not appreciate at all. The protection of the feet from the stresses of running, I didn't get that. I love the lessing, I love the lockdown, I like the comfort of the upper, the sizing, the toe box width, ankle support and comfort. But the only thing that I miss in these shoes is there's no softness, there's not much to this cushioning. Based on that, this is not a budget shoe that I will recommend for serious runners. You know, I think this shoe can do well for things like gym workouts, walks, you know, casual wear. But if you want to do serious running, this is not a shoe that you should be looking at at all. One of the major things that I look out for in a running shoe is protection of the feet from the stress of running. When you land on your feet, the ground reaction forces transmit about 250% almost three times your body weight up your heels and ankles. That's a significant force, and that is what exposes runners to injuries. Most of these shoes help in cushioning that impact, taking away some of those abnormal stresses that might cause injuries. Now, shoes that don't offer that much, I don't really care much about them. So guys, once again, I thank you for tuning in to watch this video. See you in the next one.